Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can put text and graphics into one point perspective using the perspective grid. So in another tutorial, I talked to you a little bit about the grid in general, how you can edit the grids and things like that. So right now, what we're really going to focus on is just how you can put your text and graphics onto it. So we'll go to view, we'll scroll down to perspective grid, and then we're going to select one point perspective. And then my grid appears. It's very important to take note of your perspective tool up here that when you slick on, select on it, it's going to tell you where you're going to put things in perspective. So in this case, I have the bottom selected. That means I can attach this text or these graphics to either the floor or the ceiling, and it'll all disappear to this vanishing point. Or I can put it onto the wall or the wall on this side, and it'll all disappear into the vanishing point. So let's get started. With my grid selected, I'm going to then select the bottom here to put my text either on the bottom or the top of the horizon line. I'm going to select my text. And then in my toolbox, I'm going to scroll down. And you can see that I have two tools. The grid tool allows me to edit the grid, but I want the selection tool because that's what, as you can see from the icon, that's what's going to allow me to put text or graphics onto the grid. So with that selected, I then can just drag my text. And as I was explaining, I can either view it from above the horizon line or on the floor looking down on it. And then once I let go, there it is. We have our bounding box. The bounding box allows me to increase or decrease the size, move it on to the perspective. Best practices don't distort it so much that people can't read your type. So now this is bound to my floor. If I want to put a graphic on there, let's say I want to put one on the wall, I got to take my graphic that I want and we'll bring it onto my pasteboard. And with, I'm going to go down to my perspective tool again. I'm going to select the wall this time. And as you can see, it will now attach it to the wall. I can put it to the left or I can put it to the right. I can move it up, I can move it closer, above it, however I want. Gives me my bounding box that again, I can stretch it and distort it however I need. And then when I'm done, I can just turn off the perspective grid by hiding it. And here are my objects. And they can become editable in terms of I can change the colors of them once they're selected. And this right now is what they call editable text. So that means um, you know you can change it or however you want to do it, but you can change the edit of the text to change to different letters, uh, whatever your heart's desire. But this is how we create one point perspective with text and graphics in Adobe Illustrator.